Hey YouTube, what's up? Vanny back with another video for you today, and in today's video we are reacting to the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 gameplay trailer and full showcase. If you enjoy this video, make certain you hit the thumbs up button for me, and if also, I messed the whole video up. Hey YouTube, welcome back to another you- God Almighty! If you like these types of videos, or if you just like Call of Duty, make certain you hit the thumbs up button for me. Also, if you haven't already, make certain you sub to the channel and turn the notification bell on. That way you know anytime I post more YouTube content. So let's jump in and see what this is all about. Here we go. I haven't seen any of this, okay? I haven't seen any of this at all. So here we go. Wait, I have no audio. Crap. There it is. Let's please stand by. Oh, wow. Oh man, it looks so good. It looks so good! Yes! Hello and welcome to Treyarch in Los Angeles. What's up, Mark? And thanks for joining us today. How you doing, man? We're excited to share what we've been working on for the past few years. For Black Ops 6, we really wanted to give ourselves the time to craft something truly great. This means we're delivering a new level of polish and innovation across all parts of the game. Okay. I've been working here for over 20 years, and I can tell That's a long you time. we have something special on our hands with Black Ops 6. That's a I very long time. I know excited to give you a deep dive into our campaign and global innovations across the entire game. I'm getting some Black Ops 2 vibes out of this, which makes me excited because I love Black Ops 2. With Black Ops 6, we're taking players to a new but familiar era, okay. the early 90s. Yes! In true signature Black Ops. We're going to the 90s! That's my era! A lot of you weren't even born yet, all right? I know all about the 90s because I was born in 88, baby. Ops fashion, our story builds on real history, thrusting players into a conspiracy where a shadowy force has infiltrated the highest levels of the US government. Okay. Branding anyone who resists as traitors and forcing players to go rogue for the first time to fight the very machine that created them. Okay, sweet. Dude, the team is pistol whip. Oh my god. Every aspect of this game to deliver the fun That's crazy. players expect from the Stole his gun and pistol whipped him with it. That's crazy. Multiplayer is of course here and brings the Black Ops style and provides a playground for the brand new Omni Movement system. New way to push beyond your limits and move like an action hero. You'll see a wait, whoa, 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 wait a freaking second, dude. Wait a second. It brings the Black Ops style and provides a playground. Wait, did I go for a brand back? new Omni movement system. New way to push beyond your limits and move like an action hero. What? Dude's dolphin diving to the freaking side? Also, movies are only 99 cents. You'll see a sneak peek of that later today. Round based zombies is absolutely back and better than ever. And you can be sure it's full of surprises. With that, let's step into the mind bending campaign experience. Round based Black zombies, Black baby! Black let's go! No turning back now. Are you driving? I got a freaking ad, chat. I got a freaking ad, chat! All right, we're back. Now. Campaign. Everybody loves Every a good campaign. Every player has a favorite campaign mission. Ooh, when we set out to make Black Ops 6, we were focused on delivering missions so iconic that they stick in your memory long after. Okay. We are bringing that action-packed blockbuster feel to every step of the narrative. We are giving you more variety, more dynamic moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, and more options to finish each mission. We can do this loud or quiet. The game is packed with unexpected moments of Black Ops mystery. It's a high octane spy thriller where you're never sure who to trust and what's real. And it's all set against the backdrop of the early 90s. The Soviet Union was crumbling after the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War. The US is the only remaining superpower. The Gulf War was dominating it, headlines everywhere. And there was a growing mistrust in government reflected everywhere. Dude, oh my God, music, yes. Television, 
and pop culture. The nostalgia the I'm, I'm seeing right the now from a kid is my... Timeline. Oh. Black Ops 6 comes after the events of the Cold War, but is directly tied to the 1986 flashbacks in Black Ops 2. Okay. The aftermath of which has left our heroes in dire circumstances. That makes sense then. Some you should see. Black Ops Dude, I'm 6 so excited, man. the rich and gritty history of previous franchise titles with bold new characters. With veteran Frank Woods as our through line in our story. Nice. Nice. It looks great, chapter, dude. Holy cow. Of like, the graphics look really good. Injury at the hands of Raul Menendez. He's been pulled from the field as he adjusts to a new role within the CIA, often behind a desk or on the other end of a radio. His protege is Troy Marshall, who's been making a name for himself in the field. Marshall is a reluctant leader driven by a strong moral compass. Marshall and Woods are working with another new fan. Yeah, Call of Duty fanatic, I agree with you on that comment right there. Like, Treyarch always delivers, no matter what. They, they deliver, hands down. Like, I, that's why I have high hopes for this one. Base in Black Ops 6, CIA handler Jane Harrow. She's a born leader, fearless and brilliant, and helps manage their relationships within the agency. Woods' ability to operate in the shadows has always been hugely valuable to the CIA. And thank you for the sub, appreciate it. they want to admit it or not. And Marshall has the ability to make tough calls in the field, ones that Harrow trusts him to make. But when an operation goes wrong, Woods and Marshall are suspended and ultimately forced to go rogue. They soon NW3 they was bad. Yeah, I agree. It was. NW3's campaign was horrible. I did not enjoy it. Without any of their usual resources, they have to build their own team, recruiting two exciting new characters in Felix Newman, a technical genius, and Savati Duma, a mysterious assassin. Okay. With the end of the Cold War, these former enemies have become new allies. And with the sudden return of notorious operative Russell Adler, who'd gone missing for months, freaking Adler, former ally man. may have become a new enemy. Adler's back, let's go. For the Black Ops single player campaign, we prioritized mission variety and unique experiences. Okay. Our goal was to offer players a wide variety of mission types, each crafted from the ground up. One moment, you'll be storming a palace. The next, you'll be pulling off Wait, a Wait, was that attic. freaking, like, Saddam Hussein's palace right there? Pause for a second. Hang on, wait. Each crafted Time out. from the ground up. One moment, you'll be... It is. Oh, that's so cool, man. I'm sorry. That's so freaking palace. cool. The next, you'll be pulling off ah! a casino. It's so cool! ...all over the world and immerse them in vastly different experiences. Within these missions... Dude, that's Atlanta. That whole... That's a ways, hotel in Atlanta. ...giving players the freedom to navigate through them as they see fit. Where we have different combat styles, we also have conversation opportunities where you can talk, barter, and manipulate your way into different experiences. And we think... Dude, you it looks... Replay levels to wow. It looks so good, man. Bro's recoil is insane. Oh, my God. Two tap with a shoddy. Oh, my goodness. Good gracious life to offer a variety of different enemy types in the campaign. The goal was to provide different challenges for the player. Okay. So whether they choose to go in What's that mini gun? Did y'all see that? Dude, that mini gun looks sweet. Line them up right. You can take them both out with one shot. Nice and quiet. We've continued to push on what's possible in terms of how our enemy combatants behave. Your enemies will be relentless, constantly seeking to outmaneuver you throughout the levels. So we updated AI then. Nice. Off escape routes. Push on player's location. Updated AI. I like game. that. We've created certain missions where we give you a high level objective and a variety of ways to approach that objective. Okay. One mission in particular takes place in a vast desert in Iraq. You and your team are hunting down missile launchers with the SAS. It's one of the largest campaign maps that we've ever created. Look alive, people. They know we're coming. So is it like another open world type mission thing? Is that what they're pushing for again? I hope not. That looks similar to Afghan. You'll find that some of our destinations have a startling contrast in look and feel as well. Ooh. We have a mission that takes that place pretty. in an opulent casino that looks in Southern great. Europe. It's unlike any past mission in Call of Duty. Bro, what the player that was does sweet. in this space is totally unexpected. And another one That's of our missions cool we have set in the harsh tundra of Northern Russia. We are excited to offer an array of brand new equipment, as well as some favorites from the Black Ops universe. 
Flushing open combat missions versus be better. Trap. Adrenaline stem. Homing knife. Oh wow. Wait a minute. Wait, so, wait, time out, time out, time, time, time out. Was that a throwing knife with an explosion connected to it? This casino would look sweet. I'm not gonna lie. The campaign is grounded within an expanded campaign hub called the Safe House. You might remember we also had that in Black Ops Cold sub. War. But this time, we wanted to think a little bit more broadly about the environment. We chose to have our team's hub located in a more naturalistic setting. So, it's in an abandoned manor by an ocean cliffside. That's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty sweet. What's I like this. What's unique is that it used to be a KGB black site, which was operational during the 50s and 60s. That's neat. This brings a lot of intrigue to the safe house okay. and will allow players to explore and discover secrets from the past. The team that's is also cool. bringing back the evidence board. Yes. Which is still the centerpiece of the safe house experience, but with brand new upgrades. Players can view the campaign outline, okay. gain deeper insights into missions, and analyze evidence collected throughout missions. Okay. Okay, the attacker comes in. I'll go. Three, two. The one, motion capture, how they did it, it's kind of crazy. That was sick. Great. I think we got it. This is what I want to know about. Six, our goal is to create a more connected experience that keeps players immersed across every single mode. Okay. All right, so we got slide canceling looks right there. At every corner to innovate and craft. Do the little the, the freak. Okay. Black okay. Wait a second, man. Wait a second, dude. He's diving backwards and shooting at the same time. We've pushed our nice knife, in and then this, the turn, and the jump, the freaking jump shot. Are you kidding me? That is the game changing mechanics right here, chat. These are game changing mechanics. Like if you, if you have not gotten used to like what's going on right now, you're not gonna be happy moving forward. I'm letting you go to guys know right now. It, it, this this is game changing. The most signature Black Ops experience for our players. Movement has been a consistent area of focus and innovation. Dude, he's slot. Wait, with Black Ops. Dude, this is just nuts to me, man. I've been playing Call of Duty and like Medal of Honor my entire life, basically. And to see this type of movement Clutter in like multiplayer is crap. nuts to me. So he's ju he jumps backwards. Black Ops he's just he's jumping players. backwards and shooting at the same time. Movement has been this a guy. Area this movement here focus and innovation for call of duty and with black ops oh 6, my we're redefining movement across the entire game for the first time ever players can sprint in any direction and move like a true black ops action hero with an entirely new global system we call omni movement this is gonna be nuts man this unlocks the ability to move like never before and this seamlessly train crazy. combat maneuvers like slide dive and our enhanced supine prone in full 360 degrees range of motion no way dude no way man beginning, we this is gonna be crazy if it works this thing why and then realize people actually move that way what happens if we get rid of that construct and then instantly it opened up like oh if you can sprint in any direction then you can dive in any direction you could slide in any direction which then led to all the on the ground movement and if everything this else actually works together. it's gonna be crazy Oh my God, dude. Just the, really th this fact right here. This is what I want to focus on right here. Where's it at? The on the ground movement and everything else chaining together. The fact that this one's diving and turning 360 like we have right now. This guy is turning and flipping. Th that. <sighs> what? That's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. It's really been something that changes how you think and play the game, whether it's campaign, MP, or zombies. 
We truly believe that once you experience Omni movement, there's no going back. Okay, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it now. I'm gonna say it now. What's today? June 10th. It's 10:25 on June 10th. I'm gonna say it now. If Omni movement works, if Omni movement works, Treyarch has saved Call of Duty. I will say that right now. If Omni movement works, Treyarch has officially saved Call of Duty because everybody's still complaining about movement in, in the current Call of Duty. If it actually works, Call of Duty saved because it's a game changer in my opinion. I really believe it. Also, if you're watching live right now, make certain you guys hit that like button for me over there. There's a little three dots if you're on YouTube. Smash it and then hit the thumbs up button for me. Also, if you haven't subbed yet, smash the sub button. We're watching the uh, Call of Duty Black Ops full we also have trailer. What we're calling Play, showcase. Which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform various movements. These can be enabled in player options okay. and are broken down into three categories. Sprint assist, mantle assist, and crouch assist. Okay. And each of these settings will allow for fine tuning. Intelligent movement really started with this idea that we want all players to focus on what they want to do and not how to do it. We want every player, regardless of skill level or input or experience with Call of Duty, to be able to engage with Omni Movement and live out their own action hero fantasy in Black Ops 6. This is it's such a game changer. It, we looked at it really genres is in my like opinion. racing games where they have these great assist settings that can be turned on and off. Things like traction control or assisted braking. And we really love the idea of taking that thinking and applying it to our own movement options. I don't think this is a one size fits all thing. And I encourage players to play around with combos of these settings to really dial in their preferred setup. It's, this could be crazy. It's, it's going to be crazy. Hit zones are regions on a character that react when taking damage or dying. In past games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased that to nine regions. So we, now we can determine if that enemy was shot in their left leg or right leg. And then we'll play a bespoke death animation depending on that location that they were hit. Oh, that's crazy, man. So world connectivity what? is this concept that players movement and reactions are connected to the world based on their choices. A great example that really shines is a global feature we call corner slicing, where as you round a corner or go through a doorway, your weapon's going to dynamically rotate in the direction that you're rounding that corner. And since it's dynamic, it'll be a bit more dramatic if you're slowly clearing a room. But Man, how's this going to work in, in multiplayer, though? That same corner. How's that going to work on Warzone and multiplayer? That's my question. To set the bar with movement and animations in Black Ops 6. Okay, like I understand that type of movement around corners in in like campaign mode, but as far as like multiplayer and and, and like Warzone, that's gonna be. Y'all thought aim assist is bad now. Y'all think aim assist is bad now? Oh god, they say Warzone stays the same. I haven't heard that yet, so I didn't know that. Cover. Freaking juggernaut. That's crazy. Our, our team is super thrilled to show you the another ad chat. Everybody, everybody spam ad to the chat. Everybody spam ad in the chat. We don't have annual contract. All right, we're back in characters that we've done through our process of photogrammetry. Gear was acquired, scanned, and incorporated onto each of our operatives our faces a dynamic real-time analysis of spontaneous performances was captured and processed to make every emotional impactful moment true to actual life we made sure to have special attention to the cuticles and make sure that they don't look like they're just freshly cut there's dirt in between their nails their palms as they're sweaty and, and actually it looks really good in. we're paying attention to every detail The thing that I'm most excited about is the number of new weapons from the era that we've added, which includes many that are brand new to the franchise. Looks like hacks to me. Facts, you got me. Our heroes are rogue operatives, and they operate outside the normal playbook. That means they're procuring gear by any means necessary, and it allowed us to pull a unique mix of weapons. 
We made sure to deliver dozens of unique attachments for every gun, and this allows the players to create a weapon to match any playstyle that you can imagine, okay. all while maintaining the feel and tone of the era. In Black Ops 6, we really strive for striking that balance between real and hyper real. Black Ops 6 looks kind of nutty. I agree. In realism, we find real world it looks really good. Match that motion, the weight, the timing. There it is. Then riff off of that. <laughs> it blew up the freaking uh, statue. Has come to know That's love crazy. Call of Duty. <laughs> Yo, that was sweet looking. Oh, let's talk about the HUD. The yes. Black Ops 6 user experience is all about focusing players on what they need when they need it. Okay. And our in-game HUD is no different. From the mini-map to the ammo widget to in-game notifications, the Black Ops 6 HUD combines some of our best designs in a clean, streamlined experience. Okay. For the first time in Call of Duty, players will be able to change their HUD in dramatic ways to suit their needs. For instance, Streamers can choose a layout optimized for their setup, or maybe you want your HUD centered so you don't have to look away. Want to play hardcore anywhere, or finally put the mini-map in the bottom left? Those are options as well. Not oh, only dude, does the sweet. HUD give players important status, it connects them to the world and helps them feel rewarded for being awesome. As players track that elusive challenge or target their next level unlock, Black Ops 6 delivers an end-to-end -end experience. Wait, pause, 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 pause. I, I know it's probably like pre-game stuff right here. This man's aiming at his face and not getting hit, hit markers right here. Y'all see this crap? Wait a minute. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Watch. Wait, wait, wait. Watch this. Ready? Ready? Right here. Coming up. Here it is. Black Ops 6 delivers an end to end experience from the lobby into combat and back, where player progress and achievement are celebrated in a big way. That's crazy, man. Hacker, you got me. Early on in Black Ops 6's development, we set a goal to make leveling and XP matter more than ever. Looking back through the Call of Duty and Black Ops catalog, there's a lot of love, both internally at Treyarch and that we see in our community, for up, how Kagan? we used to handle prestige. Traditional prestige is back in Call of Duty with Black Ops 6. That's what I like to hear! The best from past Call of Duty prestige systems and are going bigger and more rewarding than ever. Players who reach max player level will have the choice to enter prestige, start fresh with relocked gear, and go through the leveling journey again. Black Ops yes. 6 will have 10 prestiges, each with a valuable set of rewards to earn and let's equip go, to man. peacock your status. Players who oh, make it through prestige go. 10 aren't done. Instead, they'll graduate well, those look prestige actually master prior. I ain't gonna with lie. a thousand additional levels to climb Ooh, that looks sweet, dude. and a classified reward to uncover for anyone dedicated enough to make it all the way to the end. The full prestige system is available on day one in Black Ops 6. That's awesome. That's awesome. There's gonna be some grinders. There's gonna be some grinders for that max prestige, man. I wonder who's gonna get it first. Type in the chat, which, which content creator you think gets it first. And we will be providing a deep There's an Apple event at 10 a.m. For now, Sorry, it's an insight into our development of Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Yes, our vision since day one has been to craft an approachable and engaging step change of that signature Black Ops multiplayer experience. We focused on supporting three core play styles for launch. Okay. Enforcers are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Recon is all about intel and counter ah, I'm an enforcer. And strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win. I'm an enforcer. Or focus on taking out enemy score streaks for the team. Boop says I'm getting it first. All of our Caesar, I'm not getting it first. No, gadgets and not multiplayer have been intentionally designed through that lens of supporting these play styles. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode, which we're happy to announce is returning yes! to Black Ops 6. No, I said we're only theater mode's a taste awesome. Of today, That's gonna be great. Of course, that means that's good content right there. Details on maps. Theater mode is good content. 
We're happy to announce that we will be launching with 16 all new MP maps. Nice. 12 core 6v6 and four strike maps, which can be played as 6v6 or 2v2. Okay, that's what cool. What do players like? What do we know that they want? So we're back to our classic three lane. Maps. Going back to what works. Fast, frenetic experiences, and we have that balance with more medium size, like Man, better. Yes, for three lane maps are back. Let's go. Keep the action flowing, but still have meaningful decisions. That's great. That's for the great right make. there. The maps have their own stories. Uh, Are you buying the Vault the Edition? I don't know yet. Taking place after the campaign, after you finish it. So don't want to get into too many spoilers there, but you'll experience some of those locations through the multiplayer lens. So 16 new maps at launch. That's great news. We've covered a lot today, but couldn't leave you without giving you just one more thing. Everyone deserves the A freaking ad what you gave me! Speed. Oh my god, yes! Round Base Zombies is back, and we're picking up the Dark Aether storyline where we left it. We're excited to announce that there will be two brand new maps okay. available at launch. Okay. With a curated mix of fan favorite features and new elements to discover. Okay. For those new to Zombies, it's our unique take on the cooperative horde mode, where every map is packed full of powerful weapons and upgrades, deadly enemies, and tons of secrets to uncover. The legacy of zombies is incredibly important to train, yes. and we are so proud of what the mode is bringing to players in Black Ops 6. As you've heard today, the innovations and in movement systems will also be coming to zombies. Yes! Plus, there are many additional zombie-specific features, both new and returning. This is going to be a truly epic return for round-based zombies. Be on the lookout for more intel coming later this year. I'm in. Let's do it. I like it. I like I it. AB, Mark. Now we know we only gave you a little taste of multiplayer here. RC! Two! No! Yes! The RC car's back, baby! Oh my god, yes! The RC car's back! Sure to mark your calendars for our worldwide multiplayer reveal event. Oh, on Call of Duty oh you don't understand. On Make sure to stay tuned for details and watch oh. your favorite streamers get hands on Black Ops 6 so you can be prepped and ready to jump into our MP beta and feel Omni movement for yourself. We'll be sharing so much more about Black Ops 6 in the coming months and look forward to seeing your reactions and your feedback oh, I'm so from excited, our open man. beta coming up this fall and into launch. And it's not just about launch because the team is already focused on delivering a ton of content in the live seasons, which we'll be sharing more about. Am I allowed to talk about Warzone yet? No. What do you mean, no? Our goal on Black Ops 6 was, and still is, what? something that is the best work we've ever done, and frankly, the most fun to play. To do that, we deconstructed all of our gameplay, our systems, and content plans, and repeatedly asked how something could be better. In some cases, that led us to huge innovations like Omni Movement, where we're now allowing players to move how real people and operators move. It, that's I, it's a game changer. It's In a game changer. Cases, it led us back to some of our classic systems. I'm going like to say it since I mean, it's, Omni Movement is a game changer. System through the ringer and making updates and improvements. Across our weapons, gear, operators, maps, and more, a huge push has been to hit the highest visual and audio fidelity possible. The campaign tells an all new Black Ops story. I hope y'all hired art for audio. <laughs> the highest audio. All right, y'all better be hiring our artist war. All right, he better be working on this game with you guys. Story where you're forced to go rogue and are being hunted by the teams that trained you. On top of that, the team is really focused on mission and engagement variety. Multiplayer is a key ingredient in the DNA of Black Ops, and hopefully, in this sneak peek, it was clear that every single part of the MP game loop will be improved and it better looks than good, ever, man. From movement, it looks shooting, good. To footsteps, to engagement systems, to death. I can't deny and it. Last but definitely not least, the triumphant return of round based zombies. That's exciting, too, man. Especially for all the zombies lovers. There's so much more to share across good change. all three game modes before the game officially launches on October 25th. October 25th? On behalf of oh, the entire team, okay. we can't wait for you to play Call of Duty Black Ops 6. You know what? I can't wait to play it either. What are we thinking, chat? Out of 10. Out of 10. 
Give me a rating out of 10. What do you think so far for what you've seen? Comment in the chat right now. What do you think out of 10? I think I think we got... Uh, I think I'm, I'm excited for it. I think I'm excited for it. Right when you... Right when you think they're done, they reel you right back in. Hoop says... A ton of creators have played the game early. Jay got, uh has some solid information on this video that adds some extra insight. I'll probably watch that one later. I don't think I'm going to watch it on stream. I'll see it some 10 out of 10s. Okay. Okay. I don't want to give it a 10 out of 10 yet until I play it. I'm I, Right now, I'm sitting at about 8. Just from what I've seen. The Omni movement looks really good if it works. Round-based zombies being back. Uh, there's, some good, there's some good things. There's some good things. So, 